Naam karibu mtazamaji kwenye taarifa kamili za NTV Weekend mfasiri wa lugha ishara ni David Agondoa. Na mtazamaji takriban saa 24 baada ya nchi kutumbukia gizani kufuatia katika kwa nguvu za umeme karibu nchi nzima. Serikali ingali gizani kuhusu kilichosababisha kuzimika kwa kiwanda cha kuzalisha umeme kwa upepo cha Lake Trukana ambacho inasemekana kilitibuka na kusababisha hitilafu ya mitambo yote na kisha kusababisha katika kwa umeme nzima tumpate mwanahabari wetu Martin Mwangi na taarifa hiyo kwa kina Takriban saa 24 tangu katika kwa umeme takriban Kenya nzima waziri wa kawi Davis Chirchir anasema mfumo mzima wa umeme ulipata hitilafu baada ya kiwanda cha kuzalisha umeme kwa nishati ya upepo cha Ziwa Turkana kutibuka na kuzima about 9:45 in the evening we lost one generator electrocana wind generation which you know is 310 megawatts it was a sudden a sudden loss uh, a certain drop and that caused an overload in the system the system felt an overload and we had a, a switch off cascade switch off uh, which, which happened pretty fast and the whole country was in darkness within uh, a few minutes Tukio hilo lilisababisha mifumo mingine ya kuzalisha umeme kuzima na kuitumbukiza nchi nzima gizani. Hatua zilichukuliwa kuutenga mfumo huo wa ziwa Turkana ili kurudisha nguvu za umeme. <laughs> Lakini juhudi hizo ziligonga mwamba mwendo wa saa tisa asubuhi ya Jumamosi. The process has been slow because uh, bringing up a system during off peak hours is, uh, is quite a challenge. In fact we, we tried to hurry the building up of the system and at about 3:00 uh, o'clock in the morning uh, we, the whole system dropped again tatizo lililotokea ni kuwa mfumo unaotoka nchini jirani ya Uganda ambao hutumika kuikurupusha mitambo wakati mifumo ya humu nchini imepata kasoro pia umekuwa na kasumba zake mfumo wa mbwa wa saba wa Kamburu ambao uko na kiwango cha chini cha kutengeneza umeme ndio umekuwa ukitumika kwa sasa unfortunately Yesterday and a few days ago Uganda uh, line to Kenya has been down because some of the six towers on the Uganda side have been down and therefore we were not able to get the Uganda to support us to backstart or to backfeed. Kufikia sasa mfumo wa Olkaria unaozalisha umeme kwa mvuke wa joto ardhi ambao huzalisha kiwango kikubwa cha umeme pia haujafikia viwango vyake kamilifu na kwa sababu hiyo kuna baadhi ya wakenya wangali gizani Aidha serikali inasema kuwa imetuma wahandisi katika mfumo wa ziwa Turkana ili kubaini nini kilichosababisha mfumo huo kutibuka na kuathiri mifumo mingine nchini